hi friends uh, welcome to the new lesson which is called active directory migration which i will perform in windows server 2016 which is latest version of windows server so uh, i have a lab and uh, i have made the lab infrastructure also that will show you later but uh, uh, before you know going through with uh, with this lecture i just wanted to tell you uh, to to getting the you know totally uh, to getting this course getting this lecture you need to subscribe my channel in this video uh, in the down of this video there is a subscribe button you have to uh, you know uh, click the button only so once it is subscribed and besides that button there is a bell button also there you have to click over there to get the notification why we click the bell button because whenever i upload the new videos you will get the immediate notification and will you will get all my videos latest videos on your mailbox this is what you will get the benefit for that you no need to pay single rupee so do not forget to subscribe my channel guys so please subscribe my channel so let's start the active directory migration so most of the people know the active directory right but yes the active directory migration is kind of l3 level uh, activity so definitely whatever the activity we have performed day to day life before the you know uh, perform the activity there should be a plan status everything in place right uh, once plan is there then we start the activity right you know you need to perform the activity right so this is the same things so that's what first we need to understand uh, for first, first we need to understand the basic things before active directory migration. What are the basic things we need to understand? So this video not only for the people who know the active directory, but also for the people who are the beginners. Because I am I am explaining uh, this relation in a very uh, simple way. So, uh, but but see, active directory migration uh, chapter or lesson is not a uh, small thing. It's a very big thing. It's a very complicated thing. But I made it very simple. Uh, I mean, simpler so everyone can understand. Okay, I'm not you know like clumsy or like uh, kind of. Uh, I'm not uh, explaining, uh, exaggerating all these things. I'm just very simple, straightforward. I'm. I will uh, you know. Uh, we will go by step by step to configure so i have started the course means i will definitely end the course but from starting to end what needs to be required to perform this activity that i need to explain in this video this is the first video so let's start understanding basic things before active directory yes of course we have a two domain controller i mean two forest and different forest or two companies take it right so xyz abc company that xyz.com and abc.com they are merged with them okay so uh, and, and 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 this these are the two two forest and uh, you know they the abc.com want to be migrate all this uh, you know objects to the uh, xyz or xyz want to migrate all the object to the XYZ. this is not the you know one of the example but anyways even your environment also in your environment also there are the lot of you know different domains are there right i mean multi domain uh, uh, you know uh, are there so from one domain to another domain how you migrate okay so this is what you know things we need to discuss okay let's take an example i'm telling you in your company there are two different domain so one domain you need to migrate all the object object means what not only users and groups but also it's a service account uh, also you know what of the user having the password that should not be changed that should be you know export also to the new domain so that all things to be uh, performed that all things to be done in active directory migration process you know so that will discuss definitely we will perform okay so this is i think you understand right basic things know about active directory migration tool see active directory migration migration tool is not a you know cost we are not going to pay any uh, cost for this to you know to download or to use this tool because it's a uh, my it's given by microsoft only it's not a third party tool also so this tool uh, will help us to migrate all the object from one forest to another one domain to another so this is the greatest tool i ever seen and i i used my you know production environment also many times so it is very helpful tool and we will uh, you know uh, learn the, about this tool also in the later video also correct 
okay so instead of this tool there is a one msi you know dot msi file you need to download that is the uh, password export okay so what what does it like password export uh, export uh, a tool it will help you to like uh, uh, you know whatever the password uh, password having the current user of the current domain uh, when you migrate from current domain to you know from one domain to another domain password should not be changed user 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 intervention should not be required here whatever the password uh, using user even it migration also the same password will be uh, user uh, will uh, use while login okay so that for that for the same password migration also we need to be download that tool also what is the tool name it's a password export tool okay that i will, will tell you later okay no problem so this is the what about the active directory migration tool it's very simple you need to download there is no cost okay so uh, why and and how we perform like active directory migration tool i, I mean see there are the lot of prerequisites are there active directory migration tool but i tell you like uh, I, I i don't want to very complex this video i don't want to very uh, uh, you know um, like um, exaggerated this video i'm very straight and simple i will make this video which will help you you guys to understand better okay so there are a the lot of prerequisites are there but here i have mentioned some main prerequisites which must be do right but whatever the period definitely will perform on the uh, later part right but what are the prerequisites we need to understand so first we need to make the connectivity between the two uh, forest to domain controller because we are migrating right from one domain if there is no connectivity how can you migrate so first what we integrated conditional forward from target to source source to target whatever you are right you have to be do that you need to configure on both side the conditional forwarder for uh, how to check it uh, once done it's ns lookup tool right so if through the ns lookup you can check the connectivity or definitely when we you know migrating something you know from one uh, domain domain control to another domain it's inter forest then of course it's a trust relationship is needed so we need to create the trust, trust relationship also between the both domain control both forest okay so what we understand uh, we understand about the active direct migrating migration tool and uh, you understand about this prerequisites right i t explain you these things also and trust relationship we need to create but in the 11 one we will create it later and uh, last thing is for understand the lab environment in for practice when how see i am explaining now here you watch the video and you learn but learning is the one thing but learning is not that like if if you learn today if you watch the video today and after one month you might be forget for that you have to practice it so i have this document is very useful for you guys you know uh, to to make it you know directory and save save this all these videos you know you can download the videos also uh, so it will help you on you know on your environment so it's better to clear understand and take take a look and deeply so it will help you to to you know to you know your work environment okay so and uh, in the second video we will perform i will show you this live environment and this uh, we will perform the start the activity also so thank you very much for watching this video but do not forget to subscribe my channel and please do not forget to like also okay thank you very much we will see you on the next video